RCR, KR5 Triple E, Echo Mike 12. Echo Mike 12, Randall, I got you in the log. Good copy. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. Hey everybody, Tim here, overlanding for fun and Gray Man Poda. I'm uh, out here at the Moore Expo and today I'm with my friend Rob and we're part of a group of ham radio operators that have come to the Moore Expo well, to spread the good word about ham radio. And one of the uh, aspects of ham radio that my friend Rob really likes to do is actually communicating with other ham radio operators off uh, and using a satellite as a reflector to send the signal up to a satellite and then back down to where they can kind of have a cone of, of other operators that are doing the same thing and they can talk to each other and it's kind of cool. And real quick, Rob, if you don't mind walking us through uh, what you've got here in sure. just kind of an overview. Uh, and, and after we're done with this, I've already shot the pass that Rob just did and we'll go ahead and uh, show you that video afterwards. But Rob can give you a quick rundown of, of what he's got here. Sure, sure. Well, first of all, this all happens fairly quickly. So a pass lasts for about 10 minutes and there's a lot of stuff going on. So the first thing I've got is a digital recorder. Yeah. So I've always got a digital recorder running just in case. I mean, I live stream these myself, Yes. right? Um, I do some YouTube stuff. I'm Digital Rancher on YouTube. I oftentimes will capture everything I need in that video, but in case something goes wrong, I always want a backup, right? So this right. is my backup. Uh, the radio I'm using is a uh, two meter, uh, 70 centimeter mobile radio. So this is something you could put in your Jeep, in your taco, right? Mm -hmm. Put it in your car, whatever. It's got a, the radio itself. A lot of folks will put this under the seat in their vehicle. And then this is the head where you can place it anywhere uh, right. that you can get to easily, yes. right? right? And so I've just got this, uh, this mobile radio. It's connected to a three amp hour battery. So it doesn't take a lot of power to, to power this radio, 12 volt battery. How much do you think this part of your setup weighs? Uh, boy, I don't know. This is maybe six pounds. Six pounds. Yeah. So yeah. You, I see you have a rig here to, yep. to wear it. So it takes a lot of the weight off and uh, takes, you don't have to worry about holding on to it. And, and, and like you did mention, it's about a 10, maybe 12 minute. Yep, depending on the uh, on the orbit of the satellite. Right, of, of the window. So, uh, and then how do you actually make the connection to the satellite? How do you find the satellite? Yeah, yeah, so I have an app. Uh, there's many of them out there. I use one called ISS Detector. And uh, the way that works is it will show you the arc of the pass in the app. And uh, I actually just take my phone and I will hold my phone against the boom of my antenna and it'll show me when I'm pointing at the satellite, right? So it's, a, it's really pretty simple to find the satellite. It'll show you when it comes over the horizon, it'll show you the arc, it'll show you the high point of the pass and it'll show you when it's gonna drop out over the horizon. So you got all the information you need and whenever I'm operating, I will find it I kind of memorize the pass before, mm -hmm. but then I'll pull my phone out uh, on occasion just to make sure I'm still on track. Right. You can also kind of hear what's going on, right? Whenever you're pointed at the satellite, you can kind of tell mm -hmm. uh, when you hear other operators coming through the bird. Okay. And then I use a, uh, a what's called an elk antenna. This is a log periodic antenna. I prefer this one. It's small, it's light, it's easy to travel with. I've done a couple little modifications. I've got a 3D printed handle here. It keeps this light and easy to travel with. And then I've also added a phone holder here. And this is what I do my live streaming from. Okay. And uh, when I live stream, I'm talking to the audience. I can see the chat. And then they're also seeing what I'm looking at using both cameras on the uh, phone. This is pretty cool. Now he mentioned this was a log periodic antenna. And what's a little bit different is it, in, in your regular mobile radio antenna, you would just have one element like this that would, would be vertical uh, and, and that's it. These elements work together and actually create a directed uh, signal that actually has amplification gain in it, which kind of helps you get that extra distance to the satellite. How, how far do you think the satellites are from from where we're at. Up, yeah, up so space. these are these are low Earth orbit satellites. Okay, so very similar to what they have in Starlink. Yep, very, exactly the same, right? Okay. And, and exactly the same as the International Space Station, right? They're in the same type of uh, same type of orbit, same type of distance. Okay. 
So we're we're talking uh, 100 miles, maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I probably should know that yeah. off the top of my head, but I don't. Yeah, probably there, 100 miles up there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, but 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 so with like GMRS radios, one of the problems you you get is you you get obstructions in the way, and your signal will only go so far. Yeah, line so of sight. Generally, it's still line of sight when you're pointing up into the sky. And the nice thing is, is there's really no obstructions. Now, I'm sure things like clouds and, and stuff might degrade that signal a little bit, but but in general, I mean, so this is, you know, a, a fairly easy way. I uh, know it's not something that, it, it does take a little time, takes a little practice, but it's a, another part of the hobby uh, that, uh, you know, people enjoy doing and they really, they, they call in uh, uh, grid squares, I think, is, is the chasing grid squares. and. Uh, all throughout the United States, or actually all throughout the world, there's a series of grid squares. And, and essentially when they're making their contacts, they're just swapping their call signs and their grid squares and they're moving on. Because that window is so small at 10 minutes, and there's a lot of people, they don't want to uh, kind of hog up the frequency. They want everybody to get an opportunity to, to, to make those contacts. That, that sum it up pretty good? Yeah, yeah, you got okay, it, you got it. Go. I'm, I'm an expert now. You got it. <laughs> all right. So. Um, any any kind of uh, advice if somebody was interested in this to where they where they should get started or look to you, you have videos on your sure you lots of videos channel. yeah okay. yeah I give lots of uh, uh, lots of help to new operators certainly join one of my streams ask questions I'm, you know I, I try to answer questions during the stream uh, you know what I would say though is if you're interested just get your radio get your antenna and start listening right okay you can then pick up on you know there's kind of a protocol that the operators use to exchange information you can get a feel for it plus if you're listening you're learning how to point the antenna you're learning all the motor skills that you need all the yep. basic skills that you need before you actually start transmitting on the microphone so right right yeah that's my advice that's listen true, first man. Well, that sounds good. Well, Rob, thank you very much. I will put links to Rob's YouTube channel uh, on there. If this is something that you find interesting, uh, reach out to Rob, follow his channel, uh, watch some of the videos as he suggested. And uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll switch over to the actual pass that we recorded just a few minutes ago. All right, let's see what we can do here. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37, roving. Station for W5 ITR, come back please. Oh, I thought I heard my call. Might just be getting a little anxious. Here, let's see where we're at. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37, roving for more expo. Echo Lima 96, thanks for the contact. W5 ITR, not sure if you got me at the second ago, so a Whiskey Delta 5 Golf, Romeo Whiskey, Echo Mike 13. Echo Mike 13, I got you that time, good copy, thanks for the contact. W4 KSY, hey Terry, good to hear you, got you loud and clear, I'm Echo Mike 37. I wonder if he got me. He might not have got me. X-ray Echo 1, Echo Victor Papa, W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37, roving. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. ITR, this is 
Kilo India 5, Uniform Zulu India, Echo Mike 10. Echo Mike 10, I copy. Thanks for the contact. Station for W5 ITR, come back please. Uh oh, I lost them. Let's see. I always get behind on these overhead passes. Yep. Here we go. Let's try that again. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. Echo November 35, I copy. Thanks for the contact. Hey, I'm glad to get a new grid out there. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. Echo Mike 12, W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. That's Randall Rash. Let's see. Echo Mike 39, W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. Echo Mike 12, Randall, I got you in the log. Good copy. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. Papa Delta India, W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. That's Mike in Florida, PDI. Kilo Osco 4, PDI, W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. All right, let's see. Um, all right, let's see where I'm at here. KO4 PDI W5 ITR Echo Mike 37. KO4 PDI W5 ITR Echo Mike 37. I lost him. Let's see, we are right here. Seems like I lost the bird here. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. Boy, just all of a sudden I can't find the bird. Here, let's try that. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. I'm getting all kinds of noise now. All right, let's see. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37. Oh, there we go. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 37.
W5 ITR Echo Mike 37. Kilo 2 Echo Romeo QSL. What was it? Kilo 2. Kilo 2 Echo Romeo Echo QSL. I think I've lost the bird. Yeah. Man, it's tough on this this side for some reason. Yeah, I got I got all kinds of power lines out here. Those big uh, those big uh, those big lights that are always on. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn her off right there.